No, I'm done that. You do it again? No, you said do that and yeah. clock. Okay. And try to straighten it. Okay. And well, I have to do it with my other hand. Okay, go for it. You could do it with the other hand. Excellent. Hi, I'm Sanjeev Mujumda. I'm a plastics and hand surgery consultant from Yorkshire in the UK. And for this mess, in a nutshell talk, we'll discuss trigger fingers. Now, that little clip you saw before uh, demonstrates what a trigger finger is. Now, if I just go through what you saw on the clip on my hand, uh, and Chad will put the uh, video onto my hand. So essentially what you have are patients when they make a fist, and then they try to straighten their fingers, one of the fingers gets locked, if you will, in this flex position. And then sometimes they would have to actually use the other hand to crank it open and it's a click, that's where the trigger bit comes in. And that whole process can actually be quite painful. Um, and that's called trigger um, triggering of the fingers. It can affect any of the digits of the hand um, and anybody can actually get a trigger finger. Um, women are uh, somewhat more affected than men and certain other groups such as diabetics, people with gout, people with rheumatoid arthritis, they have a higher incidence of trigger finger. Now, what is actually trigger fingers? To understand that, we need to understand the anatomy a little bit. So we're going to use this little model. And this model shows us um, the metacarpal bone and the three phalangeal bones with the joints in. And this uh, it represents a tendon. And you can see that if the tendon is pulled, as it would be pulled if the muscles contract, so when we're doing that, this is the tendon, uh, is actually what is making your fingers curl in. If you pull it, you're not getting an optimal line of pull. And as you get this thing called bowstringing, and this bowstringing means that you're not getting an optimal pulling here, okay? Because what you really want is this to lie in the concavity of this curve. So when you're pulling, it can give you maximum pull right at the tip. Now to get that, God in her infinite wisdom created these things called pulleys and they're like straps, right, really. And these straps exist in our hands on the palmer side of our um, fingers. So just across the tendon, and these little these things represent the um, the pulleys, and these are called annular pulleys, and they're labeled one, two, three, four, five. That's A one, two, three, four, five, and they have little straps in between called the C pulleys. But let's not go into that. Now, with this, because the pulleys are there, it gives you a more optimal line of pull, and you can see when you're pulling in that you're bending the tip of the finger much better. Okay, and you can see how that works really well. Now. That's great when everything's working well, but what happens in a trigger finger is that this pulley, the A1 pulley, which is just at the proximal end, so it is in the palm, just over the head of your metacarpal, head or neck of the metacarpal, that becomes inflamed, and because it's hemispherical, it actually, the inflammation causes it to tighten down, the fibers tighten down, and essentially, you have a situation where the glide isn't happening smoothly. It's a bit like sticking your head through a railing and you can't pull it out. So when you bend your finger, you flex, it goes well, but when you try to go back, it bunches up and you can't straighten it. Now, people have looked at this under the microscope and they've taken little bits of the pulley and looked at it on the microscope and have found that there's scarring going on there um, the, and inflammation and also, in more severe cases, you can even have chondrocytes, which are little cells that create cartilage. So a lot of um, stiffening of the, um, the tendon sheath, the A1 pulley uh, of the tendon sheath. You also have some changes in the tendon, and you can be essentially scarring of the tendon and inflammation. So the combination is that you don't have a nice smooth glide and you have bunching up. So how do we treat this? The way the primary mode of modality of treatment, the first line is to put a steroid injection. It's an anti-inflammatory and you inject it right into the A1 pulley area. And that works in about 70% of the cases the literature shows. In diabetics, unfortunately, it's only about 50% of the cases. One can use splintage with steroids or you can use splintage instead of steroids and it takes longer to work, doesn't work as well or as often um, successful. But in people who don't want injections, you can use that. If the injections don't work, then you go on to actually releasing that um, um, A1 pulley. And if you looked at down here again, so essentially what you do is you may you go around with local anesthetic, 
you numb that area, let's say it's the middle finger, go down onto the pulley and essentially cut it so that this is no longer there. Of course, that reduces the optimal pull a little bit, but in normal people like you and me, people who are not climbing walls or um, such like, it doesn't make a difference. Um, and that, uh, dear viewers, is um, trigger fingers in a nutshell. Thank you very much.